This program is brought to you commercial free through the generous support of the Kamehameha Schools. Lo ka ie ie, a Hawaiian legend retold by Robin Yoko Rakoma. Pokahi and her husband Kaukini lived in a hale nestled in Waipio Valley. They had many chickens and pigs. They had a large loikalo. They grew banana and breadfruit. Pokahi and Kaukini shared all they had with others. People in the valley never left their home with empty hands. Pokahi and Kaukini lived a good life. They were generous and kind, but they were sad about one thing. Oh, husband, Pokahi would cry. How I wish we had a baby. I am lonely without a child. Kaukini would answer, We are lucky in many ways. We have many things and many friends. But it is sad that we have no children. We do not have the voice of a happy child in our house. Kaukini looked at her with love. Picking up his o'o, he turned down the trail toward his work in the lo'ikalo. Pokahi's tears dried slowly on her cheeks. She bent to pound her kappa. The kappa beaters tap, tap, tap was the only sound she heard. There was no voice of a happy child to keep her company. Pokahi picked sweet potatoes where they grew on mounds of earth. There was no voice of a happy child playfully helping her. Pokahi gathered opai from the river. There was no voice of a happy child splashing by her side in the water. Then one night, Pokahi dreamed of a beautiful woman. She was dressed in the leaves of the ohia tree. Gently, she spoke. I am Hina. The gods and I have seen your sadness. You are generous and kind. You deserve to be happy. When you awake, go to where the river meets the ocean. There you will find a gift. The gods will bless this gift for 30 days so do not take it yet. You may only look. Pokahi awoke and told Kokini about her dream. They went to where the river meets the ocean. A strange red mist lay over the water. They watched in wonder as a tall ohia tree rose from the ocean waves. Slowly it drifted to the shore. Its roots spread across the dark sand its leafy branches reached for the sky. Red eevee birds sang among the flowers. Then the tree vanished. They heard a baby cry. Where the tree had stood, a baby girl lay wrapped in sweet moss. Kokini, here's the gift. The gift is Hina's baby. Pokahi trembled with excitement. She reached to hold the baby. No, Kaukini quickly said. Remember what Hina told you in the dream. The gods are caring for her. Do not touch the baby yet. We may only look. Each day, Pokahi and Kaukini went to the ocean. Each day, the tall ohia tree appeared on the shore. The baby grew healthy and strong beneath the tree. She wrapped her tiny arms around the tree's wide trunk and laughed. Hearing the voice of the happy child, Pokahi and Kokini laughed too. Thirty days passed. Again, Pokahi dreamed. In her dream, the tall ohia tree appeared, surrounded by many trees of other kinds. Their leaves fell one upon the other, making a soft bed. 
Hina, holding the baby in her arms, stood before them. Pokahi, I am giving you my baby. She is the answer to your wish. Her name is Laukaiiiie, leaf of the Iiiie vine. Just as the Iiiie vine holds tightly to the Ohia tree, so she will hold tightly to you. She will bring you happiness. Hina kissed the baby, laying her gently down upon the leaves. Pokahi opened her eyes. There lay the baby, little Loka Iiie, smiling up at her. Oh, Kokini! Pokahi exclaimed with joy. At last, we have a child! The gods have given us our wish. We will never be lonely again. This story happened long ago when gods walked the earth. Today, when you go into the forest, stand quietly. Through the mist, you might hear the voice of a happy child. She is answered by the call of an iiwi bird sitting among the flowers of the tallest ohia tree. Look up! There you will see the slender iiwi vine cradled among its branches. Now you have seen Lauka Iiie. Now you have seen her holding tightly to the loving arms of Hina. Thank you.